Since 1990, the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary has protected the waters that surround the Florida Keys. Within sanctuary boundaries lie significant marine resources, including the continental United States' only coral barrier reef. There are vast seagrass beds, mangrove fringed islands, and more than 6,000 species of marine life. Visitors can enjoy recreational activities, including world-class diving, swimming, snorkeling, and sport fishing. However, there are rules to make sure people stay safe and don't harm the sanctuary's natural and cultural resources. There are a number of safe boating practices that you need to follow. Monroe County has a lot of designated no motor zones, so our no motor zones here in the Keys are strictly for swimming and paddling. Another great boating safety practice when you're out on the water is to look for our marine life. You know, our manatees, our sea turtles, and any other marine life you might encounter here in the waters. You need to have a uh, wearable life jacket for each person on the boat, and it needs to be Coast Guard approved. You need to have a uh, current set of flares, which is your visual distress signal. You need to have a sound producing device. You need to have a fire extinguisher, depending on the size of your boat. And you need to have a Type 4 throwable. If you're out diving or snorkeling and you see trash on the reef bottom or the bottom seafloor, please pick that up and bring it in. You want to leave the place better than when you got there. When we're out on the waterways, enjoying our ecosystem here in the Florida Keys, we want to be respectful for other boaters and especially our environment. If you're going diving or snorkeling in the sanctuary, it's all about being safe and protecting the marine environment. So while diving here in the Florida Keys, you need to be aware that we have a lot of sun and you need to protect yourself from that sun. The best way to avoid using so many chemicals and so much sunscreen in the water is to simply wear a shirt or some sort of protective clothing that has SPF in it. It doesn't wash off and it doesn't transfer to the coral. So it is so lucky that we have such a beautiful coral reef here in the Florida Keys. And in order to protect that, one of the most important skills that you can have as a new diver or as, an, as a professional diver is to maintain proper buoyancy. We're lucky to be a Blue Star operator, and what that means to us and anyone else that happens to be a Blue Star operator is that we've gone through special training through NOAA to be able to not only educate our crew, but to educate our passengers on how to be a better, safer diver for the environment that we get to dive in. There are a number of things that we need to do to ensure a safe dive. The first thing that you need to do as a diver is to evaluate the conditions. Next, choose a great buddy, and if you don't have a great buddy, there's a lot of great dive shops out there that can provide one for you in the form of a professional. Third, you want to make sure that you have good navigation skills. And lastly, it's always important to make sure that you've employed that dive flag, that it's up so the other boats can see you, and to stay within the distance of that dive flag. We have a number of protected areas called spas, and these areas are for no touch and no take. By using a mooring buoy, you're not having to anchor, which means that your boat is secure, you're not doing any damage to the bottom, and your boat will be where it was when you started your dive. The Florida Keys offer some of the best saltwater fishing in the world, featuring more International Game Fish Association saltwater records than any other region on the planet. If you're coming to the Florida Keys to go fishing and you're going out by yourself, you need to make sure that you have a saltwater fishing license. The professional guides here in the Florida Keys provide uh, the anglers that fishing license. You want to make sure that you're armed with the right information, know your catch sizes, know your limits, catch what you need for dinner for that night, maybe the next night, something like that. And if you catch more and you're not going to eat it, then you know let it go. When you're out fishing, it's really important to interact with the fish in a responsible way. So using a rubber coated net is important. You know, holding the fish properly, not hanging him by the lip, you know, because that can damage his jaw. It's really important that you use circle hooks as opposed to J hooks. But when you use a circle hook, it basically guarantees that the hook is going to set right in the corner of his mouth. Whether we're fishing, diving, or boating, the real reason that we're out there is to connect with the environment. But it's also important to remember to protect the environment down here in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary.